let's look at india first there is there was one slot that was the talking point before this game started and that was kl rahul um didn't do too well in the first innings lot of chatter around him in the second innings i thought he was very unlucky in the second innings when i say unlucky i'm not saying unlucky over the last 10 games i thought unlucky in the manner of dismissal because yes yes the guy was trying so hard to try and win his way back and then he gets out like that but now that has happened you you got 10 days what are you looking ahead to from the third test you're looking at shubman gill are you thinking oh hang on mike agarwal scored a lot of runs as well are you saying no maybe kl rahul a little more what do you think for me i think uh, it's probably temporarily for the moment i have to go with shubman gill he's just mm. batted beautifully and there will be just one change in the 11 you heard it first year in cricket first chatter when dinesh is with harsha i feel there'll be just the one change i think kl rahul i felt really bad for him today i think he's been under the scanner yes sometimes is a professional world it's sport you got to deal with your dismissals you got to deal with those sorrow moments but you know as a player when i look at what he's gone through when you get out that way knowing this very well could have been your last innings i i it has happened to me where you go into the dressing room you quietly walk into the toilet shed a tear or two and it's not a nice feeling because there's not much you can do i think he played the best shot possible with that ball but he would also know the fact that if he is going to be dropped for the match which is pretty much an eventuality it is not because of this one inning it's because yeah. of what has happened and transpired over the last 5 6 test matches he's a class player he's very good in all formats but at this point of time i don't think it's a technique i think it's what's happening between the years that's really troubling him and he might need some time off from the game go back and come back fresh for the odis but one thing is for sure cable okay, will come back strong and when he does there are not many better right-handed batsmen that you can watch in terms of the quality of shots and the range of shots that he has but having said all of that i do feel shubman gill should definitely get yeah. a look in and he's ready to go and he's just going to add and pile on the pressure that australia are already in Delighted to ask you, Michael Vaughan, what did you make of that Rahul innings? Uh, perfection. Um, I, I, I've seen, as you said, lots of cricket here at Lords. I saw Rahani get a tremendous hundred on a green top uh, a few years ago. I'd rank that right up there. But um, to bat all day and to see off the the morning conditions in particular, where the ball was swinging around, uh, the clouds were in. There was a little bit of drizzle in the air. Uh, to play with so much attrition, not to get your first boundary for such a long period of time, um, I, I thought it was a pure opener's innings. And I think in this era of, of, of modern Test match batting, we don't see many days like this. We don't see many days where a team really dig in and, and, and survive, and then go up in the gears in the afternoon when the sun shines, only lose three wickets. Uh, particularly in the UK, you, you don't get many days like this. So when it arrives and it, it happens. It's a joy to watch. You know the technical aspects of KL Rahul's batting was incredible, as was Rohit Sharma's. Uh, the way they left the ball, I thought England bowled a bit too wide in that opening burst, and then they they wore the, the England bowlers down. They made them bowl a bit straighter, clipped them away, and then England tried to bowl full, and that drive came into the groove in the afternoon. It uh, it, it won't get any better for KL Rahul. I, I don't care what he does in the IPL. I don't care what he does in the short format of the game. Uh, batting the whole of the first day in a Test match at Lord, walking your team off 127 not out, putting your team right on the front foot in a Test match. It doesn't get any better than that. It was perfection. Mm-hmm.